At the time of this recording, a new Pokemon game has just been revealed for the 3DS. No, it's not the next main series game. Remember back in late 2013 when there were hints of some kind of Pikachu detective game in the works? Well, it turns out that this game is going to be a reality, as Japan released its first teaser for the game, whose title roughly translates to Great Detective Pikachu, The Birth of a New Duo. In the game, the player teams up with a special Pikachu to solve mysteries. While there are already many special Pikachu in the Pokémon universe, let's go back to October 2013 when this game was first hinted at. It was said that Pokémon Company CEO Tsunekazu Ishihara had started development on a game that would feature Pikachu, quote, in a bold way. Now let's fast forward back to the present day, where we can see from the trailer that Detective Pikachu is quite peculiar indeed. Not only is he shown drinking coffee, but he also speaks, not the usual Pika Pika, but he speaks Japanese, oddly enough with the voice of a grown man. And in case you were thinking this was some sort of parallel universe where Pokemon can talk to humans, the trailer shows Detective Pikachu talking to another Pikachu that can only say its name. So this Pikachu not only talks, but has a voice that seems unfitting for a Pikachu. Plus, he even drinks coffee. He seems to act more like a man than a Pokemon. Which brings me to today's theory, which was inspired by a tweet from Balrog of Balrog's Game Room. Calling it, Looker got turned into a Pikachu. You remember Looker, right? The international police officer who has appeared in a few different main series Pokemon games? His most extensive appearance was in the post-game of X and Y, where you work together with him to solve a series of mysteries in Lumio City. Hmm, that sounds familiar. So Detective Pikachu and Looker both solve mysteries, but how would Looker have ended up being turned into a Pikachu? We don't really have a way of knowing at this point, but let's take a look at some examples of people being turned into Pokémon in the various Pokémon canons. First, we have Bill, the Pokémon researcher who can be found north of Cerulean City in red, blue, yellow, fire red, and leaf green. When you find him in these games, he's accidentally been turned into a Pokémon while experimenting with Pokémon teleportation. This was also shown to happen in the Pokémon Adventures manga. Next, we have Ashichu. In episode 241 of the anime, Hocus Pokémon, Ash and friends meet a witch named Lily who claims to know a spell that allows humans to read the minds of Pokémon. At the end of the episode, Ash ends up being transformed into a Pikachu. The effect was only temporary, and Ash turned back to normal at the beginning of the next episode. There is also, of course, the Mystery Dungeon series of games, in which the player is turned into a Pokémon and sent to the Pokémon world to help save it in some way. This would be different from Detective Pikachu's world, though, because he works together with a human, whereas in the Mystery Dungeon world, humans are heard of but don't seem to exist. Finally, there are many Pokédex entries that mention people becoming Pokémon, such as Phantom, Yamask, and Kadabra. But these transformations tend to occur after the person dies, or in special cases if the person has particularly strong psychic abilities. These may not be the only examples, but it's enough to establish that there has been plenty of precedent for people to be able to turn into Pokémon, in the games and in other media. So it wouldn't be unrealistic to think that Detective Pikachu could actually be Looker. I would love for this theory to be true, but at the time of this recording, it's still way too early to either confirm or deny its validity. So for now, this episode of Sweet Speculation has been just that, speculation. We'll just have to see if we get any new information as the game gets closer to release.